Hello, everyone. Hello, hello. My name is Tina Greer. Uh, come on in the room. Come on in the room. I'm Tina Greer of Greer Business Solutions. And I'm excited to be here today. I um, wanted to jump right on in on my platforms to say hello. Uh, from time to time, I come in live. Um, and then also you see, you may see uh, recorded videos of me as well. But I wanted to come in to share just some information, quick information with you um, when you, uh, in regards to registering in SAM.gov. Now, um, again, if you are coming in, you want to say hello to me, please put your name in the comments. Uh, we have a lot of new people um, that have come into the training hub for women. Uh, uh, that are interested in government contracting. I work with women in that group. But then also we have individuals that are part of my business page and then also part of my YouTube channel. So, so wherever you're coming, doesn't matter where you're coming in from, feel free to say hello. But I wanted to make sure um, in regards to government contracting for those who are new, and are thinking about becoming a government contractor, that you do understand the process of first, you know, registering in SAM.gov in order to become an approved government contractor at the federal level. Um, there is uh, different nuances that you should know as a um, in order to complete that process. Um, it is a process that's set up for you to go step by step in order to do that. Um, so as you are training from me, meaning that what I do in this process is that I train you on how to acquire government contracts through starting with the fundamentals, the basics of understanding the terminology, understanding your strategy, understanding pricing, that's where I come in and I teach you that process. But it is very important for you to understand yourself as a business owner, how to go about registering to become an approved government contractor. Now, within the system, they've done a lot of different changes um, in the registration process. And there are new changes that you need to be aware of, especially for those individuals who are already approved government contractors. You have your cage code and um, your identifiers in that system. Um, what the government has done is that they have come, um, they now have a, uh, you, uh, you have to register your entity in order to get a unique entity ID. That is a new thing. Um, and for those who are already government contractors, where remember, you had to have your DUNS number um, in order to become a government contractor because that was part of the application process. Now they've changed it a little bit. So for those who were already in the system and you had your DUNS number uh, in order to register to be a government contractor, they have now uh, given you a unique entity ID number in replace of the DUNS number. And that is the number that you will be uh, using moving forward. Um, for those who are new, who have not even registered, you're going to get started in this uh, on this website and you will be, um, they will assign you a unique entity ID number. Again, this process is on the official U.S. government website. It is free to register. Um, and the website address is sam, S-A-M dot G-O-V. Um, that's how you know it's a government website when it has the extension of G-O-V, um, that it is a, a government website. Now, if you have questions on this website in regards to navigation, in regards to finding contract opportunities and doing your market research, then yeah, feel free to reach out to me, schedule a consult, and I can help you with that too, because it's very important um, that you learn how to do your market research. And that is um, an element that I do teach in my coaching programs. So again, 
this website has a, a variety of different uh, ways to get information. All It's like a big data bank, if you will, to get the information you need to get started and also the information you need in order to be able to register for other entities within your application process. So it is a lot of information. And I understand that at times it can become um, overwhelming um, to individuals. And um, I am here to, to help streamline the process as best as I can by, by giving you guidance in regards to your registration, um, but then importantly, teaching you and coaching you on how to um, bid on these contract opportunities, all right? So I wanted to make sure that you were aware that for those who are already in the system, you may have an upcoming, uh, it's time to re uh, re uh, renew renew your registration, which is on a annual basis. It may be time to do that. And you probably haven't even looked at it since you first registered. So I wanted to give you a heads up on that new process. And also just even the look of the website, it looks different now. Um, in addition to that, for those who are brand spanking new and you are in the process of registering, just follow the instructions to get started. And it, it will explain each step as you go along that process. They even also have a customer service number you can call. So I want to make sure that you under, that you understand as far as what I do is that I'm a coach slash consultant in this area. I will help navigate help you navigate through that, but you will be responsible for providing information and putting that information in. And that's how I do mine. I I, I don't you know. I don't do it the other, you know, some people do it their own special way and that's not me. So I want to make sure that you understand um, the services that I do provide. And that is to to train you on how to um, once you've done your market research, you know exactly what you want to bid on. What does that process look like for your company? What are the steps you need to take to make sure it's a good viable bid for you? How do you even get started? Do you have subcontractors? Are you doing it on your own? Um, you know, it's just a lot of different, a lot of different nuances you need to know once you get that document in hand and you are ready to be it um, on government opportunities. Um, so I want to make sure that you know my role in this. It is to help help you navigate through this process and streamline the process. Um, Cause that's the way I teach step by step. So for those who may be interested in learning more um, about what I do, let me see here. You can always connect with me. I see. I should, let me make sure I put that. There we go. You can always connect with me here. Um, and uh, we can see how I can assist you in moving further along in your government contract um, endeavors. And I look forward to doing that. So again, I'm Tina Greer of Greer Business Solutions, providing coaching and consulting services in the area of government contracts and also general business coaching um, in helping you navigate, navigate just understanding what you have on your hands in regards to really um, uh, making your business of influence. So again, take care guys. Um, let's connect. There's my link to, uh, connect with me. I look forward to helping each and every, uh, one of you, um, to grow your business. All right, guys. So take care. It's really nice talking with you. Um, again, welcome to all the new members of the training hub for women government contractors. And also for those who are new to me, thank you for stopping by and don't be a stranger. Uh, in addition, feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I actually will be going in and providing various types of content, not just government contracting, but also um, business, general business techniques as well. So again, thank you so much and we'll talk soon. Bye for now.